Takarau Apoi, the Margaret Mahi Family Playground. Following the um, devastating earthquakes of 2010 and 2011, it was identified that play was one of the most important things to bring back into the city, to attract people back into the city and to bring laughter back into the city. In creating a place for children, we always have to think about play value. Um, what are the things that will develop a child physically, cognitively, socially, socially um, and make sure that we create all of those stimuli, if you like, within the site to build stronger children, build more confident children, to allow children to reach and to overcome their fears and to become um, more confident adults. And so whenever we design a play space, we always need to be mindful that at its core we need to be imbuing it with a lot of play value and so in every design decision that's made we're thinking about how children will interact with this, how it will challenge them physically, how it will stimulate their imaginations, how it will allow for them to um, in interact socially with others. Um, the other thing is that we need to create subspaces for for people to escape as well and get into um, areas and have some relief because places like this can be chaotic and overwhelming for people. This whole site was laid bare by the effects of the earthquakes. I started by imagining what was involved in creating a new landscape. Within that I thought about representing the diverse landscapes of Canterbury and so actually the site represents the wetlands, the plains, the, the port hills, the coastal edge. So um, throughout the site the different play subzones, if you like all are reflective of the different Canterbury landscapes and I was inspired by Margaret Mahi, one of our our great literary giants, if you like, and also Elsie Locke. Um, Elsie Locke was a friend of Margaret Mahi's, and she was also a writer, an activist, and a fem feminist. She was a real identity in this area. And Elsie had a park named in her honour right here on this side. We also thought about um, how do we pay homage to the people for whom this park has significance and I guess one of the things I'm most proudest of is how we achieved that and that was through the story arc that's um, in the middle of the park, it's the heart of the park and the idea of the story arc uh, came about through a quote um, of Margaret Mahi's which I'm going to paraphrase. <laughs> um, she said that when she writes a story or reads a story it's never the same as the story that is read or heard. She said that when a story travels from the writer or the speaker to the reader or the listener, it travels along an arc and it is transformed in that process. And it is transformed through the power of imagination. 